Welcome back, everybody. We made our way up here. I've mastered the stairs. They were hard. They're now mine. Yeah. They're, they, they, were, they were hard. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't figure it out for a while. They were hard. They were hard. I don't like to call this. Whoa. Can you make that jump? No. Yeah. Look at you go. Look at me go. Mm. Doing things. Making jobs. Doing things. Get, getting air. Getting paid. Making people happy. Lo looting bodies. I Wait, remember this place so vividly. And I absolutely hated it. <laughs> Ooh, protection train. I still hate this level. <laughs> Even to date. This this place is just Oh, that's right. Reduces fire damage and raises AP and defense. So we put we give the like Donald the protection chain. And then we give Sora the horn. Thanks, bad guy from Anastasia. <laughs> You mean Bartok? Yeah, Bartok. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that! What do you got here? Goofy. Goofy? Goofy, no. Goofy, bad. I should make a Dark Souls video game starring Donald. It's called Duck Souls. Duck Souls? Duck Souls. Just imagine, like, every time you die viciously does the Donald like scream. Oh it's like a little temper tantrum? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing would it? It would. I don't think it would. Am I doing anything up here? Like uh, I don't know. Are you? I feel like I'm just like looting. Are you doing anything just up here? Robbing from Tarzan's tree. Were, were you home. just here to see a cutscene or are you here for something else? I don't know. Like there's a bucket inside of that thing. Yeah but how do I get to that thing? By lighting it on, f by going to the top of the tree and then lighting the stick on fire and then dropping that thing down and crushing the happy cat. I mean, he's not really a happy cat. He's more like an angry, hungry cat. Oh, I'm an angry, hungry cat. Sabador. Sabadore. Sabor gigante. Gigante. Oh, my God. <clears throat> No, El Gigante is bad. No, you gotta go the other way. You were, like, right behind you, bro. Well, there's also a bell there. Where? Turn around. On top of that, see, look, there's, there's, oh, it's just, it's like, a chocken. it's a chocken. All right, chocking. no, so, that is just a drop down. No, the, the boat, the boat is right there. Everyone get to the boat. The boat. I have a feeling that you need to actually think, glide. Yeah, I think you need to glide to get it. Yeah, so... Ah! Oh! Hey, what's up? I don't know, Steve. What's up? You tell what's me. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> what's up, YouTube? The shout out. On today's episode... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Jump up top there. Yeah, I know. We're about to go the other way. I, I don't think you know. I was not about to go the other way. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. I gotta make believe that. I, 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 I believe that. Yeah. Believe that. I believe that. Uh, I think it's just another sliding event. It is. Is this where we came uh -huh. from? Tunnel. Climbing trees. I think we want to go to tunnel. Tunnel's where we came from. Yeah, that's where we want to go, though. Because I think we want to go down that path again. Which path? That one right there, and then we want to go to the left because there was that, that that thing that I saw on the left. Sure. The the sacker path. So like sort of sliding down this thing, I can understand because at least he has shoes on. But oh, uh, Tarzan has no shoes. Tarzan has no soul. Oh. oh! See it now. Yeah. I see it, Tarzan. We lost it. Tarzan, I sees. 
All right, well, we lost that. Dang it. Dang, dang. Ding, dang, doodly noodles. Oh, no, doodly noodles. Doodly doodlies. No, cutscene. Uh, how could you do so? Miss Porter, as I told you, I was not aiming at the gorilla. You are not to go near the gorillas again. Yeah. Oh, because of one mishap. Come now. Huh? Hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Yeah. What up? Look at me striking a pose. <laughs> Little known scenes from the movies that you never got to see. Yeah. God, he is. Ooh. He is a psycho. He is. Imbeciles? Uh, you're Gosh, there to protect them. I hunt down every last one of them. The Maybe you I'll should track them down somehow. Maybe you shouldn't yell that out so loud. I've Seriously. My life on it. Well, mm -hmm. that is exactly what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. Probably. See, that is what your job is for. Yeah. Your job is to protect them, not to go and kill the gorillas. Maybe what can to be both? Because you're supposed to protect the gorillas. Are you? You are. Like, come on, man. Heartless! Oh, that's right. They're funny little, like, okay. heartless. They're like little wind-up punch. I love it. Come on! A wind up what? A little, you have a little wind up punch. Watch oh, them. the wind up punch. Ooh, I got strong. Mm. Oh, and they get four points each. I got protect G. Thanks, girl. And it was triangular. No, that's no, that's nuts. All that's that's nuts. nuts. Not doing anything with it except hoarding it like a wagon. You know the, the the harmful stereotype of of uh, you know Jewish people being uh, money yeah. hoarders. Yeah, yeah. What if it's not Jewish? What if it's dragons? What the, the the people of the Jewish descent are dragons? Maybe. I mean that would fall in line with one of the the, the things that I told you about that like winds of magic theory, or I should say my winds of magic idea. The Deans of Majak. Yeah, so, uh... Oh, no! See, he's doing his little wind-up punch. He's like, oh, I'm a wind-up! You punch! Uh, one of the one of the theories that I came up with for a while, uh, back in high school with my friends, was there was this, like... There was, like, the Age of Aquarius and all that stuff, and there was the... Oh, she is! Very exploded. Yes. I think she's here to give out magic. Oh. See, because different ones explode into different little orbs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think she gives out magic. That's why. But uh, there was this theory that I had with my friends where um, during certain periods in our history, like in the history of the world, mm -hmm. there were uh, books that recorded and were more popular, I should say, or more prevalent. Uh, that talked about uh, magic and like strange supernatural things that were going on. Yeah. And throughout like all these different worlds, all these different countries, all these different people from different backgrounds and different educations, there's a lot of like correlating, or I shouldn't say correlating, but like corresponding, like matching, like. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Like, magic uses incantations. Uh -huh. Magic allows you to summon creatures from other worlds. Magic allows you to control the forces of nature, like being able to summon fire and water and do spectacular feats. Uh -huh. And then, all, like, dragons throughout the world are usually large, scaly, serpent-like creatures uh, that, uh, you know, possess different magical uh, properties to them. And they do different things. 
pop. And so it's interesting because like throughout all these different ages, different time periods, different like spanning countries where in which they don't have any overlap during certain points in their history, it's strange how like a lot of these countries or these these places have such similar lore behind them. Right, yeah. And so <clears throat> I had this theory uh, that the world, like, magic is a lot like, like, I wouldn't say lunar cycles, but like, it's kind of like a wind where it blows in and it comes in different seasons and different ages and like it will be more strongly tied in during certain periods of the world and like things will change because of it and so I had this, this theory called the winds of magic <clears throat> because it just sounds better to say winds of magic right it sounds really good it sounds fun yeah uh, where like people in this in our world tend to find themselves to be more naturally attuned to certain animals. Okay. There's like the theory of the spirit animal where people sit there and they feel strongly connected towards an animal. And there are people who share similar attributes to certain animals, certain creatures, certain types of mythical beasts out there. And so it, it like this idea kind of grew into like a theory where um, magic comes in seasons and there are people who are not actually people okay so there are people who have uh, an affinity towards like for instance my one friend uh, she is I don't want to say a furry okay <laughs> but she feels that she is very strongly connected towards the wolf like the wolf is her spirit animal okay and she feels like a lot of her personality, a lot of her, like, uh, not her, like, attributes, but, like, her persona is very wolf-like. And so there was, like, I thought about that, and I was like, that kind of would tie into my Winds of Magic thing, because then, like, a lot of, um, a lot of, like, like, they're demi-humans, which are, like, half-human, half-something else, right. or humanoid-like creatures like elves and dwarves and beastkin and dragonkin and stuff like that what's up oh i was just i have discovered where this where oh that, that other door goes, goes. Yeah, this goes to here. oh that makes it easier um and so it's like if the winds of magic were to come certain people who it's, it's were like actually doing this who were very tied into those animals would become like demi-human animals like some of them would become Beast can, right. would become like dragon can. Like my one ex, she was what's known as a scaly, which is a subsection of furries. But I'm there, I'm thinking, like my ex was a bitch can. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be something else. Uh, but yeah, like um, how do you get to the other path? I don't know. I, I have a feeling like you have to like burn it or something. Maybe. But. Uh, like my, my friend would become like a, like a wolf kid because like she's very connected to the wolves and so like whenever that had happened certain people would become connected like that while there are others who don't feel that real strong connection but there are other people who are like spiritualists and shamans and like um, healers of a sort and they would become more tied into like different types of magic and different types of Is she stealing your money? I think she is. Oh, I think yeah. But like it was it was such an interesting idea to me because then like certain people would actually become very strongly tied into this hole here. I don't know. But yeah, other people would be strongly tied into different things, and so like you'd have people who would randomly go from being a normal human, then the winds of magic would show up, and all of a sudden they transform into like a dragon. Gotcha. Like, like your wife, for instance. Like she always loved dragons. She loved the lore behind them. She felt very like strongly towards them, and so it would kind of be like to me, it'd be like 
she'd be more of like a dragon king right in senses and like you are very much in tied with like the dwarf theology and how dwarves are and so like with the magic realm you be more like a dwarf okay and so like that was like my whole prevailing theory about this like weird concept of like magic being tied into the world but there are like certain periods of time where magic disappears where it ebbs and flows differently Fire! and <clears throat> oh yeah yeah goofy messed her up real good he's like i ain't fucking around now <laughs> bitch uh, you're not taking my money and this is another great example of what we were talking about earlier about how this game is really bad at directing you where are we supposed to go now? Right. We've done like we've, double we went to the tree, the tree, and got what I can only assume is all the people up there because there's nowhere else to go. Yeah. But um, yeah, like the, the the theory behind the Winds of Magic was that event, like in in the year 2000 when Y2K was supposed to happen, and everybody was talking about how like oh there we go. See now there's more cutscenes. Yep. And it's oh. not like it's not like the gorilla runs off to kind of give you instructions on where to go. Like, yeah. Kind of. In to direct you, it's just kind of like, nope, I'm out. I'm just gone. I was here, and then I was gone. Yeah. And if I remember correct, remember that place we were like, oh, there's nothing to do here? Uh huh. I think, I think it's actually important. I would not be surprised. But yeah, like, that was my whole, like, prevailing theory on the Winds of Magic. And so when Y2K was rolling around, me and my friends were talking about it, and we were joking, it's like, yeah, this is when technology fails because, like, all of magic comes back, and it's like this guy in, like, like Dresden Files, like, electromagnetic explosion that, like, kills technology to a certain degree. And suddenly people will start getting magic back. And then there was, like, the whole, like, what, 20... 2011, 2010, 2013 where people thought that the world was going to end again because it was like the end of the Age of Aquarius because it was the end of the Mayan calendar. Yeah, I mean, the world's ending every couple of years. Yeah, but I mean, it was specifically tied to the Mayan calendar, yeah, was like the last day. And so we thought like, oh, that that's it. Like, you know, like here's like... This the, is it. Well, this is when magic comes back and that's why it's quote unquote the end of the world as we know it. And so, and yeah. That, that's that's uh, that's my insane theory. Nice. Over. But uh, we are. And they're just looking at this, and they're like, "I could have sworn that we had been recording for much longer than I thought we really were." Oh yeah. Yeah, like it's only been 17 minutes, and we're like running oh, on like 30 to 45 minute episodes. So I was yeah. like, "Oh, we gotta call it soon," because I'm so freaking Normal used to like. Us. That's strange. Yeah, no. Wait, right? that also wait. So when heartless appear, which that's what these are supposed to be like, normal heartless. Yeah. That then those like uh, flowers are supposed to close. So maybe we have to go back there, and that's what it's trying to say. Maybe. Even though that feels. Oh, it sounds like a little squeaky toy you just beat up. Oh, interesting. Mm. If I hit, if I target something and hit triangle, uh -huh. it focuses their fire on it. Oh, like Goofy and Donald? Yeah. Ah. So you see, like, if you notice they suddenly had uh, little exclamation points coming up over their heads. Uh huh, uh huh. It was because I was telling them accidentally to focus fire. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Light the stove and be careful. Okay, so basically... I light the stove. You gotta light the stove, pour in a potion, take it off, and then freeze it. Yep. And that's how you convert a potion into a ether. Yes. Which is... Plate safe. Which is useful for whenever you need to go back to the Wonderland to give that thing an ether rather than oh, yeah. spending a ton of money on an ether. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> That's really bizarre. Why did Why did it do that? Yeah. Probably because uh Sabador Gigante is coming after you. I think that was supposed to be a gunshot. But oh. it was weird because like I came back in there, it didn't trigger, went into the tent, came out of the tent, and it triggered. Ah. Oh. Hey! Hey Sabador. kitty kitty! Thanks, Donald. 
Well, at least he's, you know, being useful now. Instead of being a goddamn rage mage and trying to run into a fight and, you know, hit it with a stick when he has the power of oh, magic. Get him, goof! Get, get it. Oh, there he is. That's so, that's, that's such a clever use of, like, um, the terrain. Like, they have those little, like, palm tree things set up, and so it's like, or I should say, those are bamboo trees. And so it's like, what is it doing there? And it's like, well, that's the trigger where it uses its ability to jump in. Oh. Oh, no, it has Goofy's ability, where it charges through things. So, <laughs> it's interesting that... We're, we're fighting this huge, like, cat thing. Yeah, Max HP. Oh, did we, did we murder, murder it? Uh, I think we did. Because that's like the... Oh. Cat. Oh, we killed that cat. Oh, no. Oh. Huh? Blat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. We not only killed it, we ripped its teeth out. Oh, my. I love that that tent is fending off the... Whoa. Come down there, Gorilla. Well, it is Rosie O'Connell, so... Yeah, I love how the, like, the tent of just blankets is magically keeping away all yeah. of these uh, heartless... Heartless. Don't be so heartless. Unacceptable, Steve. Don't be so heartless. I can't remember what I was talking about earlier. Before we got interrupted by Mr. Happy Cat. Uh, you're talking about your, uh, your, your the, the world you created. I have a tiny little soapbox and I'm a fat man, so I stepped on it and then I crushed it. <laughs> and it broke. And it broke. But I used it. We're great. Also, we're, 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 like the soapbox commentary. Like, like are they talking about like the crates that soapboxes that soaps used to come into? Yeah. So it's called a soapbox. Yeah. And so people because, would stand on that. Because in days of old, uh -huh. people would stand on that and shout out to the masses. Yeah, but why why use a soapbox? Why not use a stage? Why not use like a because like a milk crate? When you're, when you're poor milking class. Milking class? <laughs> Working class. Uh huh. You said the word milk crate. <laughs> Not the word milk <laughs> stuck in my mind. <laughs> ah, I'm not gonna beat this monkey! Alright, you Plus beat your monkey. Uh, you would use whatever you had. Yeah, they would use whatever they had. I, I assume when the phrase became popular, uh -huh. at that time, it was mm -hmm. probably popularized by people standing on soap. Okay, so obviously the soapbox would have to be large enough for a person to be able to stand on it, to like you know at least yeah. like two feet wide. Think of like a think of like an old school apple. No, right? of course, of course. But I, I, I'm just thinking. Oh to hey, set it on fire. See ya. And then you add a potion. Need more freaking fine recipe cards. No, you need a potion. No, it, it told me that I need more information. Like, there's probably a recipe card I don't have. Right there. But this is a recipe card too. It's a research card. Too. So they can come back to this. And this is a recipe card. Recipe card one. Yeah, see? Oh, okay. Part one. Okay, okay. Um, but I just imagine like so so obviously like a soapbox would be like a two foot wide crate that's at least like half a foot tall because or like like four inches like yeah, about half a foot tall. Because, like, that's usually what people stand on top of, like, the, as, like, the, the soapbox. I don't imagine that crate being filled with a ton of small soapboxes, like, soap bars. And then, like, having, like, hay around it to, like, keep them in place from jostling about. Huh? I just imagine a giant, like, two-by-two-wide, half-foot-tall slab of soap being in this little box. And then a person just buys the soap bar like the whole thing and then they literally just like I don't know like just 
bring it into the bath of them and just rub like oh, basically God. a cutting like big old like freaking cinder block of soap all over themselves. That sounds. Or like disgusting. they take it and they like pull out like a spoon and then they like scrape some shavings off of it into a towel and then they like mush it up with some water. Let's begin. Starting with this pudding. Putting in the boat. Ice it. So shoot that with Blizzard. That right there. Now it needs to be cool. Right there. Yes. Shoot. It with, yeah. It was I some blazer. I... No, watch. Hit it with the Blizzard. See ya. Boom. Oh, we got an Ather. Oh. Okay, cool. If I do it again. Do I get another Ather? I think we only do it once. This sucks. Ugh! So I think we start a fire, then we add a potion, then we freeze it, and then we get another ether. Whatever, this is the worst game ever. So dumb. So dumb. So dumb. So oh dumb. god, I almost ran off. <laughs> That's like... What? <sighs> Wait, what? Good job. You can act... That, that can actually fail? Good job, buddy. You did good. You did real good. Wait! I want you to know so how proud I am of you. I'm so confused right now. I want you to know how proud of you I am. I've been blind hitting X this whole time. Uh -huh. Just just in the sure will that I think that I believe the game automatically jumped me to the next one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And now my reality has been just Look. Everything's different now, Tom. Oh. Tarzan! Tarzan! Help me! Black fruit looks suspicious. Beat up them heartless. Heartlust? Them heartless. Get that heartlust. Nice. That level mm. Donald. Good job, Donald. Whoa, that. I think we have to kill all the things and then open up the flowers. Because they will stay closed right. so long as there are heartlust around. Heartless. Beat them, Heartless. Get that Heartless. Heartless. Heartless, dear. Nope. Nope. Yep. Constantly fight them or opening up the thingies. I think it's a. I think it's a continuous spawn. Oh, because we beat them up, and that's what helps us regenerate mana. Right. So that way we can then fire. Blazer! Oh, I see. Okay. I, I, oh. I get it. It goes black while they're nearby, but as soon as I kill them, then I can target it. The thing. Makes sense. Oh, whatever. It's out of the way. That's what you want to do with your life? You do that. Enjoy your life. It's right there against... Oh, it was against the wall. Oh, over there. Across the way. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Isn't there, like, eventually a level up that we get where it allows us to do, like, air combos where you, like, leap up in the air and you're just like, bam, 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 bam. Or is that number two I'm thinking of? Uh, you can kind of already do that. I can already do air combos, but I do think that there is a point where. No, no, no. It's, yeah. uh... No, I know. I was, it's... I'm not sure if I how to get over there. I think you just jump up to that side. Yeah. yeah. Literally. You think? Because that's the way we would just go. Oh, no, no, not over here. Yeah. yeah you just like. I don't think we've ever gone up uh, up this. Yeah, way. we, we have to go around. All right, and then there's like one more, like over there. Uh, I don't know anymore, dude. Yeah, I know, right? Nope. This 
sworn there was one more over here, right? It's like, like right where that little area is. Yeah. It's supposed to be there. Not Look down at the ground. Like in that little crevasse to your right. Yeah, right there. I mean, they're all attached to these little vines. I think if you just follow the vines. To a degree, they are. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So, the vines kind of lead us to all of them. Alright, go down and look underneath that branch. Come on! Turn to the left. What do you mean, get my shit together? Is that you? I said Donald. Oh, I thought you said Tom. I was oh, like, no. what the hell? <laughs> Fucking asshole. Maybe uh, you can talk to them now because there's no more spawning and all the, the, the leaves are open. Maybe you have to talk to, like, Jane. And she's just like, oh my god, it's opening now. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. We just had to beat enough. Okay. Well. Sure. Got it. What was the point of the flowers then? Magic. Maybe after a while, just like, just, just go, just go. He's not getting it. He's not getting it. Just, just keep it going. Clayton. Gorillas trap. Must help the gorillas. All right. Uh, I guess mm. I go this way. Okay. I'm going. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go the, the, the climb vining thingy and the, the tunnel, and maybe he's up in the treehouse. Except, he dropped down from the treehouse to get here. Yeah, which means you have to go back to the climbing tree vines to get up there. Yeah. Probably. Uh, I'm not too sure, though. It has been. Quite some time. Hot. A very hot minute. But we will be back with more in the next episode. Bye, everyone.